All right, welcome back. This will be our third and final installment of the Rigging Plast Soft Plastic Swim Baits video series. Um, this is where we bring it all together. So we'll look at the different types of swim baits that I've already showed you. We'll look at the different types of rigging, and we'll show how to match the uh, specific rigging type to the specific swim bait. All right, so first up, we've got our little Kitek style swim bait here. So using these two as an example, first thing we've got to look at is, okay, how big of a hook are we going to run? So, for example, this size hook, this is a 3 or 4 odd, I'm not 100% sure. On this size bait, it might not be too bad. You'll notice that from the nose to the hook pocket, it's a fairly good fit, but we probably want to go a little bit bigger on this hook than this hook. So let's move up to this size hook, kind of see how this thing lines up. And, well, this is on the little on the big side. So let's kind of meet in the middle here. So this hook would be a really good match for this bait. So we can see from with the uh, the hook rig the way it should be rigged, uh, as far as four and a half go, that the point of the hook falls right inside this hook pocket here in the back. All right. So that's one consideration. What happens if we go too big? So let's find a nice big hook here compared to a small bait. So let's grab this little small bait here. Let's say we wanted, we tried to rig this little bait on this hook. So where does the hook point end up? Well, the shank of the hook. And this is a bit, you know, an exaggeration, but the shank of the hook, or the belly and the point of the hook, end up way back in the back of this bait, which is really going to kill the action. Ideally, we want everything from here back to swim, which will give this the tail a little extra thump and allow the bait to really roll. So that leads us to the next thing, which is, okay, I've got this little tiny swim bait. Where do I find a hook for it? Because, I mean, this is about the smallest hook you're re realistically going to find here. This is a 2 watt. Okay, well, where does this leave us? This 2 watt hook, if I rig it normally, I'm going to end up with my hook point way behind the hook pocket, and I've got most of the bait taken up. So that brings us, for these little tiny baits, if I want to rig it weedless, really my only option is something like this. And this is an owner finesse swim bait hook. Uh, and they are absolutely tiny. I haven't seen one smaller than this. I believe this is like a number four hook. Important thing to remember with this hook is look at how tiny this wire is. It's a really light wire. This is an easy hook to bend out. So be, so be conscious of that and understand that you're going to have to fish this on light tackle. This doesn't weigh much. This doesn't weigh much. It's not a weighted hook. So you're either going to have to run a bullet weight, like a pegged bullet weight in front of this, or you could run it on a Carolina rig. So basic rigging, and this holds true for all of our um, all of our screw lock baits. All right, these are nice. These owner owner hooks have the centering pin, which is uh, really handy. So we'll just stick the centering pin right into the nose of the bait, and as the name implies, it's a screw lock. We'll just screw it on. So we get everything lined up. You want the paddle tail in this for these baits pointed down. So this thing's nice and aligned here. All right. Figure out where this thing's going to come out the top. And then this takes a little bit of doing sometimes. We want to go straight in that belly slit and come straight out the top. So this looks actually a little on the small side for this bait just based on the slot, the slit up here. Could probably go to a number two. Um, but realistically, this bait will fish just fine on this hook. So notice that the, the hook point doesn't stick up above the top. But when I set the hook, this pops right out, and I've got a nice big open spot here to really hook, to get a good hook in the fish. All right, so that brings us to the next part. And I mentioned this in the, in the hook uh, video. Let's look at belly for these hooks. So notice I've got a nice, I've got a good bit of hook showing below this bait here. And that's really important because, like I said, when I set the hook, what I want to, ha what I want to happen is I need room for as much of this hook as possible to come up to the bait. So I've got a lot of hook out here to get my, uh, to get my bite into the fish. So, for example, let's take two hooks of the same size but different belly or roughly the same size but different belly. So 
So these two hooks are generally the same size, but one is a much, much deeper hook than the other one. So now let's take a bigger bait, which needs to work for this. So let's take this other Kitex style bait and see what happens when we rig it. So insert the nose, screw it in. Figure out where the hook's going to come out. Pinch it in the bottom slit out the top and lay this thing out. All right, so what happens here? I set the hook. I got a lot of hook coming out the top. This is, a, again, it's about the same size hook. Much quicker to rig. I'll just show you how to rig these. So these are the pin, just the pin locks. Uh, these are great because they're quick to rib, but they're, uh, they can be a little finicky as far as getting the bait to stay on the hook. The key is to get it all the way past that big stopper at the end. Figure out where it's going to go in, figure out what's going to come out, run it straight through. Okay, so you remember how much bite I got on that previous, the previous hook I go on this one? It's okay, but it's not as good. Keep in mind, this is a fairly skinny bait. So not the end of the world. Let's go to a thicker bait. All right, so this bait has got a lot more meat to it. We've got a hook pocket here in the bottom, and the, the hook pocket will help, but it's not gonna save us, completely save us from everything. So let's run this through here. These baits are a little difficult to rig or can be um, simply because they are so thick. What we'll notice here is there's nothing we can really do to get this bait or this hook just holding it up to the side of the bait. That hook is not going through that bait. There's really nothing you can do to make that happen. So for a bait like this, we've got to go to a really deep bellied hook. So this is that same size bait, same brand, already rigged. This is an owner beast. I believe this is a seven aught hook. And what you'll notice with this one is when I set the hook on this, I've got a decent bite coming out the bottom or out the top. It could be better, and realistically, I can actually run a slightly bigger hook with this. Notice the belly slit comes all the way back here. Um, so let's say you can't find a hook with enough with as much belly as you need for the or, or for the bait you're going to use. What are your options? Well, this belly slit is one of your options. These baits come with a small belly slit. If you need more of a belly slit, get a really, really sharp knife, or if, you, if you've got a bait that doesn't have a belly slip, slit, take a really sharp knife and make your own. Now don't go all the way through the bait. You need a little plastic up top here, just a little, but you need a little plastic to hold the hook in place. If you go all the way through, um, this hook's just gonna start flopping back and forth, and essentially you'll end up with the hook all the way up in the bait, and you'll end up with an open top hook, which defeats the purpose of text posing this thing. Uh, to keep it weedless. It won't be weedless anymore. So just one of those tips on how to how to use a, a, a smaller bellied hook and still get a decent hookup ratio. Likewise you can actually take one of these if you using that technique and almost completely embed the hook in the bait. Um, so taking a, a hook like this you can make this hook essentially disappear in a bait like this. So it sits up in here you slit it all the way all the way up and then when you set the hook you know, a decent amount of the hook can come out. Um, but that weakens the bait a little bit, and uh, it's not going to last for as many fish. So with something like this that costs, you know, one of these baits costs a couple bucks, not necessarily your best option. All right, so for a hook like this, 
Again, we'll use this uh, use this larger Kai textile bait. It's kind of just like rigging a, a Texas rigging a worm. But let's look at you want to look at the angle that this comes up here and understand that that's the angle this needs to come through the bait initially. So we'll come in the bait at an angle. out the bottom. I want to make sure this is nice and in line. I'm, see I'm already a little bit crooked. Because I've got this slit in the belly that gives me a good aiming spot. I just want to line it up, line everything up. Come out straight in line with this the belly slit. Push this through. Pull this all the way through. Spin it 180. So I want this barb coming out all the way out of the bait. Figure out whether it's going to come out. and then straight through the bait using the seams as a guide because I want to make sure that this thing is rigged perfectly straight. So you see this one, it's not hanging to the side. I'm lined up in the slit here and I'm letting the, the point of the hook's laying in the slit here so I can run my finger. I can run my finger over the top of this and then when I set the hook or the fish bites it, my hook comes out the top. I've got enough belly in this hook that I don't clog the, uh, clog the bend and it should have a pretty good hookup ratio. And this thing isn't going to slide down, isn't easily at least, going to slide down uh, the hook shank. So this should stay rigged um, over time. So I can either run this with a, either on a Carolina rig uh, or peg a, um, peg a bullet weight in front of it, since this is an unweighted hook. This, th this type of hook, so this weighted, um, weighted extra wide bend, our extra wide gap will rig pretty much exactly the same way as that grip pin hook. Um, just you got to be kind of gentle pushing the weight through the plastic. Your other option is to kind of rig it backwards, and that's actually shove the eye of the hook into the uh, up in from the bottom of the bait and out the front. But I don't recommend that. Um. All right. So while I was editing this video, I realized this thing was going to be way too long. So I'm gonna stop this right here with just the hook rigging piece and uh, follow this up with a video specifically just covering rigging uh, swim baits on various jig heads. So check back um, for that video. Uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel to get notification when the next video pops up. Until next time, cheers and tight lines.